and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a Louis Vuitton unboxing. It's the latest addition to my Louis Vuitton collection. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Tamika. Here on my channel, I cover topics on fashion, lust for less, and the occasional lifestyle content. So if this sounds like topics that you would enjoy, consider hitting the subscribe button down below along with that notification bell so you never miss an upload. I have a brief backstory before we actually get into what's in this box. I wanted this bag for my birthday, which was back in May, but Louis Vuitton had just had a price increase and I wasn't paying the five. If you know that episode of Martin and the reference that that comes from, comment below. But I wasn't paying the five. So I knew that this particular bag was saturated on the pre-love market and I decided to just go ahead and buy a second hand because I did not want to pay the premium that came along with the price increase for this bag. So now we're going to go ahead and get into what's in the box. This is actually more of a reveal than an unboxing because when it came I opened it and looked at it and inspected it because I needed to make sure everything was on the up and up before I filmed this for you guys. As you could tell from the thumbnail, this bag came in two prints. And if you think you know which one or which print I chose, comment below before I actually unbox it to let me know which one you think I got and which one is my style. Okay guys, so let's get into the one I chose. It came with the original ribbon. Um, it's just this blue ribbon. This is a magnetic box. Ooh. You open it up. Oh, spin it out there. You open it up to reveal the bag. It came with some paperwork, which is the original receipts and some other stuff. It looks like um, online purchase. And to reveal the bag or well, the print that I chose, because you already know the bag, but it is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini in the reverse monogram. This is the new version. Uh, I'll pop up a picture of the old version here. The old version did not have the exposed zipper here. This lip of the bag right here kind of covered the zipper. And when people would go to open and close it, it would get stuck on the canvas and cause cracking along the edges here. So they switched it and it is now an exposed zipper, which is very smooth and easy to open. It is a mini backpack, as you can tell. And hence another reason why I bought a pre-love because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna pay it for such a small bag. <laughs> Although it does fit a lot, I've already tried fitting some items inside and I will do another unboxing about what fits inside later. But inside, it's a black hole. You can't really see that. It has a back pocket, one small, really small back pocket that could probably fit. Uh, can it fit my phone? Nope, it can't fit my phone. It can probably fit like a small card holder or something. Uh, it has a zipper in the front. Very, very small uh, compartment here. I'd probably use that for my airpods it is has leather detailing so this the bag itself is coated canvas and then it has the leather detailing it came with these two straps we'll get into that later how i have them hooked right now and then it came with these two extender straps which are supposed to connect to this strap and give it some extra length so you can wear crossbody in some other different ways which i thought was pretty cool this bag was on my luxury wish list for about two years this bag been out for about four or five years now but and i didn't really want it at first as time went on and i kept seeing how it was styled and how cute it was and how functional it was it made its way on my wish list i was really excited to get this because when it first came out it was always sold out it's been kind of hard to get for a while now especially in the reverse monogram print and then I noticed that before the price increase that Louis Vuitton had both versions sold out online and mysteriously they came back in stock once the price increased so I don't know I think they were holding out on us and they just wanted us to pay the five but sis wasn't paying the five. The reason I chose the reverse monogram is because I already have a monogram print bag. This one right here is called the No Way BB um, in the monogram print. And I didn't feel like I needed another monogram print, but I really wanted this bag. So it really worked out. It's really convenient, hands-free, and very cute. 
and can be worn in so many different ways. I'm gonna pop up a couple of photos of how you can wear it. You can wear it crossbody. You can wear it as a backpack. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, as a top handle bag very very versatile i just love all the ways that this can be worn i prefer to wear it as a backpack and i do not like the way that it looks with the extended straps as a backpack because it kind of hangs really low on my butt like it touches my butt now i just feel like a backpack is supposed to get a little snug up against your back i just feel more secure that way so i have adjusted the straps so that i'm using the one strap which is not the way that you're supposed to do it i took the one strap threaded it through here and um, I, tend, I intend on connecting it and wearing it as a more fitted backpack. And I'll show you that in a second because I'm going to do a quick try on. I did up the straps. And I'll show you what I was talking about here where I said, oops, not focusing. Where I said how I would do the straps. So what I did was, like I said, I took the one strap. I put it through the hook here and then just connected it with the, um, through the hole, the little grommet through the hole. And this is how I intend to wear it. As just your regular backpack. You see how it fits more up against my body. If I had extended the straps or used the strap extenders, it would have dropped to about right here. And I don't really like that look. So I wear it like this with the one strap with the two strap, one pants, as a top handle, I think it's cute. Wear it as like a backpack where it kind of just goes around me like this with the one strap going across like that and it would hang on my back sitting to the side. But I, like I said, I'd have to add the extender. I don't think, can I do that with this? I could, but it would look a little dumb, so I would have to add the other strap. After I've worn the bag for a while, I plan on coming back and doing a review for you guys on how it's worn, what fits inside, if I chose to wear the straps any of the other ways that I've shown you. So this wraps up today's video. If you wish to connect with me further, you can head over to my Instagram where you can see me style this bag and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.